Yes, yes, yes. This a thousand times yes. I still cannot believe this is a real dress on Pretty Little Thing. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, we are going to be trying out some very extra dresses from Pretty Little Thing. As party season is finally here, I feel like there's going to be so many different events and parties that you may need a killer dress for. And so I thought this would be a really appropriate video to film around this time of year with Christmas and New Year's Eve coming up. I feel like whenever I need a really fancy looking dress, I usually head to Pretty Little Thing because they have so many different choices. So in today's video we are putting to the test five different dresses which I've got right here I feel like they're all different colors they're all different styles so there should be something here for everyone these are just dresses that really caught my eye they didn't break the bank so I was keen to try them out I'm actually on the hunt for a really nice New Year's Eve dress so hopefully we will find that in this video if you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before hi I'm Roxy welcome to my channel if you guys want to stick around make sure you guys subscribe down below but anyways I guess without further ado let's get on into the video okay so the very first dress I have to put to the test is this one. I will pop a photo of it on screen so you guys can see how it looked on the website, but I'm obsessed. This is called the Premium Cream Constructed Satin Draped Bardo Bodycon Dress. It was £59, which is a little bit expensive, I think, but to be honest, with dresses like this that are super structured and really good quality, you kind of are looking at that sort of price. I feel like if you look at dresses like this from like Opoly or House of CB, they are always around that sort of more expensive price. I guess that's just down to the detailing and the fabric that it consists of. But here it is, and I am just in love with the color. Oh my gosh, this feels so nice. So obviously I shop on Pretty Little Thing a lot, and I can definitely tell the difference between the quality of this rather than the usual dresses. You can tell that those few extra pounds definitely went a long way in the quality of this. It's made really nicely, and the fabric is really thick. So this is how the dress looks. It's basically like a bardo off the shoulder little moment. The midsection of the dress is super structured as you guys can see. It's kind of got like that corset vibe to it. The boning on the sort of like tummy area actually continues all the way down the dress giving it that structured look. So I am so excited to see how this will look on. Just for reference, all the dresses that I purchased in this video are a size eight. So that's usually the size that I go for in dresses. So I guess let's try this on and see how it fits. All right guys, so here is the very first dress and what it looks like on at a first glance. I actually really, really love the design. The only thing I would say about this dress is the fact that it's quite like loose fitting and I got this in a size A which usually fits me perfect. However, I feel like there's a lot of excess fabric around the hips, around the waist. It currently looks like this when it could look like this around the waist and this around the hips, which in my opinion is way more flattering. So I guess I just happened to get the wrong size. If I got this dress again, I probably would just size down. I think the design of the dress is so special. I love the neckline. I really like the boning in the dress as well. I do have to say though, if you wanna wear this dress out dancing or clubbing or whatever, this is the most movement that you can get out of this dress. This is what the dress looks like from the back as well. So it's just got a little tie around the neck. In general, I love the style of this dress. I do have to say though, it is a little bit loose. So for that reason, I'm gonna have to give it a six out of 10. Now moving on to the next dress, we have a little bit of a mauve moment. I don't usually go for dresses in mauve, but anytime I try one, I honestly really like it. So here is the photo of how it looks on the model on the website. And as you guys can tell, it looks so bougie, so classy and so extravagant. It was actually only 38 pounds though, so I'm really, really keen to see what the quality will be like. Okay, here it is. The fabric feels nice so far. Ooh, this is cute. Okay, this is a little bit confusing when you first <laughs> unpackage it, but this is how the dress looks. It doesn't really give it any justice, I feel like, just by holding it up, but basically it's got these cups that don't actually have any padding, which is a little bit disappointing. I honestly love it when dresses like this have cups so that you don't have to wear a bra alongside it. So that's a bit of a shame, but this is how it looks. So it's got like this drapey kind of effect on the front. And then it's also got these little bardo sleeves that kind of just drape down the shoulder. The actual straps of the dress are made of that same mesh material as you guys can see on the rest of the dress. They are actually adjustable, which is great. And yeah, this is what the front looks like. The dress then, it can 
continues down and it looks like it's kind of like a midi asymmetrical dress. So it's a little bit shorter on one side and then it kind of just like drapes down into like this triangle shape. The bottom part of the dress is very ruched as you guys can see, which I absolutely love. I feel like for 38 pounds, they could have chucked in some bra cups in here. That would have made it 10 times better, but I guess let's try it on and see how it fits. Okay, so this is the next dress and what it looks like on. I have to say, I actually really like this. I didn't think I would based on the fact that it doesn't have any cups underneath, but I'm wearing my strapless bra underneath and you can't see it at all. The way that the dress is made, you can't see the actual bra underneath at all. And it does actually have its own boning inside these cups. I just love this whole like draped effect. It just frames the chest so freaking nicely and the fabric is absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, it's ruched, which is super forgiving on the tummy area, especially if you have a bit of a food baby, which right now I actually do. Also, I really love the slit on the side because it's super short on this area, but then it goes all the way down to the floor on the other. Oh my God, I've just realized I was talking throughout that whole dress and I didn't even put it on properly. I forgot that it had these little draping bits. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot about that, but this is how it's actually supposed to look. So it's got those little like off the shoulder bardo bits. I actually really liked it without these straps, but I think it looks really cute with them as well. So I'm gonna give this dress a nine out of 10. Okay, so now moving on to the next dress. I feel like this one is kind of ridiculous, but that's exactly the reason as to why I got it. I honestly was just minding my own business, trying to find these dresses for this video. And I ended up scrolling past this and I was like, what the hell is that? And so I added it in my basket and then I checked out and now it's here. I mean, I don't expect to like this dress by any means. I have to say the fabric is actually quite nice. It's made of like this satiny sort of fabric. This doesn't look like a dress though. It kind of looks like lingerie. I mean, all there's left to do is just to try it on and see how it looks. Let's do it. Okay, so here is the dress. I had to wear a nude pair of shorts underneath this because I genuinely would have been demonetized in this video. I still cannot believe this is a real dress on Pretty Little Thing that they expect someone to wear out. This is literally ridiculous. I mean, I know celebrities wear things like this, but regular people in the regular world cannot wear this out. Look how much skin it's showing. Like genuinely, if I didn't have these shorts on, it's like one wrong move and everything is exposed. I mean, don't get me wrong, looking at the viewfinder, I can see the appeal. It looks very sexy. It looks very, well, I wouldn't say classy, but it looks very bougie. It looks expensive. It looks like something that someone would wear to like a red carpet. But in the real world, like what party could you actually rock up in this too? So without any posing, this is how the dress sits on my body. It looks kind of silly, especially when I turn to the side. I genuinely take off my hats to anyone that would be confident enough to wear something like this to a party. But yeah, this is the dress. This is how it looks on. I don't think it's particularly flattering. So I'm gonna have to give it like a four out of 10. Okay, this next dress is right here. This is the photo of it on Pretty Little Thing and I'm obsessed with this once again. This is called the Champagne Velvet One Shoulder Corset Detail Gathered Skirt Midi Dress. Gosh, that was a mouthful. This was 38 pounds and honestly, I'm just obsessed with the style, the fabric, the color, everything about it. This could be a very strong contester for my actual New Year's dress. I don't actually have any plans for New Year's. Let me know in the comments below what you guys are doing for New Year's Eve because I do this every year. I just leave it till last minute and then me and Matt end up doing nothing for New Year's. But this year I have promised myself we're actually gonna do something. We're gonna go out, we're gonna meet friends. So hopefully this will help. So here is what the dress looks like. Oh my freaking gosh. It looks so expensive. I think it's partly the fabric and like the style that's making it look quite expensive. I mean, looking up close at the stitching, it doesn't look the best. Like, I don't know. There's a lot of loose threads, especially around this sort of area here. And you guys see the loose threads? They're like all around this area here. There's nothing wrong with having a few loose threads though. So I'm not gonna judge it on that. This was 38 pounds, like I said. So hopefully it will be worth it. Having said that, I've just found some more threads and look at this. Can you guys see that? This is like a full on thread that hasn't been cut off. Look at this in this ruching part. There's like a thread that is so long and I can't pull it out or anything. It's literally just 
just attached. My first impression of this is that it's very thready. It just hasn't really been sewn properly, it seems. The fabric feels really nice and soft. Again, this dress doesn't have any padding on the insides, which is kind of annoying. But yeah, this is it, I guess. Let's go pop this on and see if we can make it work. Yes, yes, yes. This a thousand times yes. I'm obsessed with this dress. I'm sorry, but it's literal perfection. Like, look at this. Look at the bum, it is so gorgeous. I am willing to look past all of the loose threads that this dress still has. I will cut them off, but this is genuinely a dress that I'm actually gonna keep. The belly area has that really nice ruched effect, which as I said, it really just conceals my little food baby right now. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I am so bloated right now, and this is just covering that up like a treat. I just really love the color and the fabric. It just looks so rich and so extravagant. So I'm giving this dress a 10 out of 10. And now the very last dress we have is this one right here. So here is the photo of the model wearing it on the website. This is called the Pink Organza Sleeve Lace Bodycon Dress. It was 44 pounds and I just love the sleeves so much. I feel like they definitely look super feminine and just really festive. Oh my gosh. This dress is so pink. Look at those sleeves though. This is so cool. So with this dress, it could either look amazing or it could look borderline cheap because whenever I see organza on a piece of clothing, a lot of the time it kind of just makes it look a little bit cheap and tacky. That's my personal opinion, but I guess we're gonna see. It does look like it will be quite promising. Like the lace on it is really nice. I love the color. Again, it doesn't have any cups on the inside, but that's okay. Oh, this is really interesting. It has like this little mesh panel where like the boobs go. I actually really like the pattern of the lace on it. It's super interesting and really girly. So let's go pop this on and see how it looks. Okay, so this is the last dress and what it looks like, I kind of have to say, it's giving me slightly grandma vibes. I don't know if that's just me. It looked amazing on the website, but on me, I just don't think I can pull it off. The sleeves are very itchy. So if you were to wear this all night, I feel like you would get a little bit like irritated with them. But the rest of the dress is fitting really nicely. It's very comfortable. The only thing that's not comfortable are the sleeves. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the neckline, but it just, I don't know. I'm just not really feeling it. Let me know what you guys think of this. Do you think it's giving you grandma vibes or is it just in my head? Apart from that though, the dress is pretty nicely fitted, so I can't really fault it when it comes to that. So as a whole, it's just not really my taste, but I'm gonna give it like a six out of 10. All right, guys, so that was all for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, seeing these super extra dresses from Pretty Little Thing. I've gotta say, some were definitely a hit, some were definitely a miss, especially that red dress. I mean, what the hell was that? I honestly had so much fun playing dress up with you guys. Let me know which one of these dresses was your favorite as well. I think my favorite one's either the first nude one or the gold one with the velvet fabric. I honestly love them both so much. If you guys would like to see any more festive dress videos like this before New Year's, even Christmas, let me know what brand you would like me to try out next. But anyways, as always, thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video. I appreciate you all and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.